What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to uh, some more Wi-Fi on the channel. This is actually week one, round two of the Lithio Battling Association um, battling my friend Digital. So a link to his Twitter in the description below. Um, and before we hop in, standard dot shoutouts again. Shout out to Brendan for Jenny my mom's team building. Uh, Dylan, uh, sorry I pronounced your name wrong in the last episode. Um, for getting, for power saving me, per, for power saving me my items uh, and then shout out to hipster hypno and d train for recording my stuff anyway uh after all that um let's just look up look at the team i brought right here for re real quick so i brought six ou mons um which normally should just lock me up the win because like if you can bring six ou mons i think that you're in a pretty good position but anyway i have life orb gengar i have choice carf excadrill i have choice bex gothitelle um, I have Dragon Dance, uh, Mega Mints. Not Mega Mints. It's nicknamed Mega Mints, but it's just Mints. Um, I have a DD Mega Gyarados. I have my nice DD core with my, uh, Trapper. And then, uh, Fable. And looking at Digital's team, uh, he has Sharpedo, which is actually a pretty big threat to my team. Um, I couldn't bring Gudra this week. Uh, didn't really have the time to breed it. So that was a little bit unfortunate. Um, I was planning on having Gudra over Mints, which would have helped a little bit. Um, and then we also have Gyarados on his side of the field, which is uh, just regular Gyarados, not Mega. He has a Heatran, a Espeon, Gliscor, and um, Mega Venusaur. So he has Venatran, which is pretty nice. Um, but anyway, looking at my win condition, I know I can just like run a train through his entire team um, if I can um, DD once with my Mets. My Mets actually has Aerial Ace this week. It's like Aerial Ace EQ Dragon Claw, and I know that I can just steamroll through. No, it's like Aerial Ace. Yeah, Aerial Ace EQ Dragon Claw with Dragon Dance. So I know I can just steamroll my way through his entire team if I can get a DD up, which I think I can versus Heatran as long as he, as long as he doesn't burn me. And uh, we can glass score a little bit. But anyway, let, let us jump into it and see how that went. Um, so as we can see, Digital is issuing a challenge. Um, he's going to go ahead and lead with his Venusaur, as I get a pretty good lead matchup, to be honest, as I lead with Gengar, um, nicknamed Rip. And uh, this Gengar actually um, is packing the Psychic, and he's going to Mega Evolve turn one. At this point, I got a little scared, because I thought he was going to reveal, like, knockoff or something, because Venusaur does our knockoff. Um, but fortunately for me, he does not, and uh, I get to get off like 60% with this Psychic right here. And Gengar's main role on uh, this week's team was to just kind of break his team and weaken stuff, which he did successfully right there, uh, weakening uh, Venusaur doing about 60%. And right here on this turn, I make a huge mistake that actually ended up mattering a lot. Like there were some hacks in this battle, but I end up going for the Sludge Wave, not the Shadow Ball. Uh, just because Sludge Wave was a pretty solid middle ground, and you guys will see this, like, 30% that I could have had would have helped a lot. Um, because he is actually Air Balloon Heatran. Uh, I go for the Sludge Wave, doesn't affect him, and on the next turn, I'm fortunate, en fortunate enough to hit my Focus Blast. And, uh, unfortunately, I am not able to knock him out, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, so that Shadow Ball right there would have helped me a lot, because he does just come in and knock me out with the Fire Blast right here. So, already off to pretty bad start. Like, I... At this point, I was like, you know, it's not too big of a deal. Gengar, like, pretty much broke down his entire defensive core. So, like, I'm not too worried. And right here, I contemplated so hard going for the DD. Like, I was right there. I was going to go for it. Um, but I saw that he still did have his own Gyarados, which would have been a little bit of trouble for me to break through. Just because it was pretty bulky and it uh, can have Intimidate. Uh, so I just opt to go ahead and go for the Waterfall as he decides to sack his Heatran. So at this point in the battle, I'm like really regretting that decision with Gengar but at the same time it's like you know um as long as there's like nothing bad that happens down the line I should be able to keep this under control he goes out into his Venusaur right here which is currently chilling at about 45 percent and I don't want to take a gig take a giga drain so I'm gonna go ahead and switch out into my uh, Gothitelle um as he does not make the play of uh, doubling out meaning that I can take this thing on one-on-one -on -one easily and so his entire defensive core is gone by like turn six, which uh, bodes really well for me. The problem is I am choice locked and I do have to go for the Psy Shock right here in order to uh, get rid of this thing. Um, meaning his Sharpedo, which is a huge threat to my team, has a really big setup opportunity. So I think my better play right there would have been going out into anything but Gothitelle and <laughs> just going from there because right here I'm going to have to go into Clefable and uh, Clefable unfortunately is going to get critted and get a defense drop here off of this crunch which is pretty big. Um, 
because I would have been able to take Sharpedo uh, on if he had not crit me and hadn't gotten the defense drop, which is really unfortunate because as you guys will see, uh, the fact that that happened basically uh, basically hoses me for the rest of the game. Um, because looking at my team now, my check got critted, so I'm at like half. And I'm just going to go into my Gothitelle as he goes for the Waterfall and is able to knock my Gothitelle out. So at this point, he outspeeds the entirety of my team, uh, which is pretty big. And um, things are just not not looking good for me. So right here, I think I'm going to go out. Do, do I go out into it this turn? Uh, yeah, I go out into my Mega Mens this turn. And I'm thinking, you know what? Uh, even after the Intimidate, I should be able to take a hit unless he's running like Ice Beam. But unfortunately, he goes for the Ice Fang and is going to be able to knock me out. Um, I was on the fence on whether I was going to be running Yachi or Lum this week. Um, and I decided at the last minute to slap Lum on as opposed to Yachi. Because uh, it gave me a better setup opportunity. But uh, the Sharpedo right now is just tearing through my team. Uh, I'm going to go out into my Gyarados right here in order to take this thing out. Um, he... And this is also kind. Of, this also kind of matters because he's gonna go for the waterfall, and uh, he's actually gonna get another crit right here, which is pretty unfortunate because it makes the difference between like um, me. Like it obviously makes a difference because of like how much health I'm left at, because I will just be able to two KO him right here. Um, so, you know, kind of an unfortunate situation, but there's not a whole lot that I can do. Uh, I'm going to switch out my Gyarados right here, knowing that he's probably going to go for the Waterfall again as I go into uh, Treble, which is Michael Fable. And uh, I know I can take this Waterfall and uh, stomach it pretty well. And see, like, like look at that. Be because, like, that, that ensures that I could have taken the Waterfall if I hadn't got the defense drop. But, you know... You gotta move on from that. What what's in the past is in the past. I can't control that six percent RNG chance, so I just have to play around it. Uh, he's actually gonna go out into his Percellus here. I think that's what you call it, and uh, he's actually Moxie Gyarados uh, Lumberry. Um, so this is a little bit unfortunate. And this is where in the battle I was like, wow, I really wish I had Gengar because Gengar actually had T Bolt this week, um, and I could have just clicked T Bolt and knocked him out. Would have been as easy as that. Um, but I'm gonna have to go out into Excadrill, and the only way I have a chance is if I crit, or is if I flinch him or crit him with this Rock Slide. Unfortunately, neither of those happens, um, as I'm just gonna go ahead and miss my Rock Slide, and, uh, that is gonna wrap up this week's, uh, battle, because my last is Gyarados. Um, so, you know, really unfortunate just from these circumstances, but, um, I've kind of tried to make some modifications in order to adjust for... Um, my misplays, and, well, like, I just, like, don't be stupid when covering the misplays. I'm gonna go for the Dragon Dance here, because I know it really doesn't matter, and just getting a plus one Gyarados is nice. Maybe I could, like, f flinch him down with Waterfall, but he's just gonna knock me out the earthquake. Um, so, you know, so, you know uh, I, have, I have adjustments as to try to try to adjust for uh, whatever else is going on, and, 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 uh, and uh, try to make my team a little bit better, so hopefully I will be able to improve my one-on-one -on -one record. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the day, uh, which is leave some interview questions in the comments section below, like press conference sort of thing. Um, and... and like if you guys are unfamiliar with that it's basically just like oh hey coach so this week x happened how are you going to adjust to that like you you know how like at the end of sporting events they like interview like a player or a coach or something just leave those comments comment section below that'd be great uh and with that I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content and with that i'll catch you on the flip-flop